All right, hello. All right, <clears throat> hello. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about um, some free uh, photo uh, editing softwares that are online that you can use uh, without having to download them on your computer, or uh, you know they're just free. And I'm just going to kind of compare and contrast that to uh, Photoshop. So first things first, um, I want to ex first explain how you uh, record a video on your uh, screen. You first want to make sure you have QuickTime Player, and you just want to make sure that you have the newest version or um, a version that's 10.0 uh, or, or newer, so 10.3, whatever the newest one is. I don't know. I haven't updated my computer in a while, <laughs> but um, so just make sure that you have that one. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go to File, and you're going to go to New Screen Recording, uh, and then that'll pop up, and you'll just want to use your own microphone or whatever. Um, so let's get started. So today we're just going to go over um, Luna Pick, which is a, a free online photo editing software. And I'm going to kind of compare and contrast that with Photoshop. It was recommended that I use Canvas, but Canvas was a little confusing as to if it was uh, free, if it was even online, or you had to download it. And I just think Photoshop is the mainstream, even though you have to pay for Photoshop and and you have to um, download it. I think it's just it's so common and, and uh, mainstream that it's it's really the preferred method. So I'm going to compare and contrast that to another site I found called Lunapic, which has, uh, in my opinion, a lot of the same um, the same tools. They are just maybe uh, under different titles and different names. So first, you just want to open up your uh, internet browser, whatever. It may be. You're going to Luna Pick. All right, so Luna Pick gives you a couple of different options. You can browse through your own folders, They're like down here, and choose your own file, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Or you can uh, simply just go and grab one right off the internet. So let's just go ahead and do one like right off the internet. So let's start with hmm, let's do Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. We'll do a Morgan Freeman picture and we'll go to images and oh, we'll do this one. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. So we'll just click on his picture there and you're going to double click and you're going to copy the image address. And now that you have that copied, you're just going to go right back to Luna Pick. I found that if you highlight this all the way and just paste it in it works a lot better don't worry about you know getting it perfect just copy and paste it pretty much so then hit go and there you go now you have a picture of uh, Morgan Freeman or whoever on your computer screen on uh, Lunapic using Lunapic and there's a couple different tools I've found the most helpful first being actually a a tool called um, where is it? zit and blemish remover uh, I thought this tool was very similar to the tool in Photoshop, uh, which is called a uh, spot tool or healing brush, spot healing brush, uh, whatever. Pretty much does the same thing, remove things that you don't really want on the screen. And one of the interesting things I actually found about Lunapic was there's several different ways to do this. So uh, you pretty much can just read up here, click on the zip, blemish, or wrinkle on your picture to remove it. So. Uh, I'm not going to worry about removing all of his, he does have a few, but you can just see that I can click on whatever really I want, and it will disappear when I click on it. Like so. Now the other thing you can do, which I thought was really cool, is there's just a whole bunch of different tools you can use. If you want to make it into a holiday card, you can. Um, that's an option. The other thing I really liked about Lunapic, even probably more than Adobe's Photoshop, was the tutorials. And it has a lot of different tutorials that will just help you, um, you know, learn how to use it and use some of the different tools and make really cool, uh, awesome photos and edit it in however which way you want. And it's a little bit more user friendly, I think, than Photoshop. Photoshop can get people kind of discouraged. And, uh, that's never good because it's really not that hard to do so we'll just click on one black and white with colored eyes that's a good one so 
you click on that and you can just come down here and here's some text that explains what you want to do and you're just gonna read these and it explains how to do that so let's move on we'll go back to our picture so obviously when you don't have to do it in black and white you know you don't uh, have to it, it says to do it like that so we're just gonna do it like that but you could technically do this without making the picture black and white but we're gonna go ahead and do it black and white so you're just gonna go to adjust and you're gonna find black and white under adjust should be the third one and now he should be black and white and you're gonna come back up and you're gonna go to cutout tool and the cutout tool is also under edit and it would be under crop image the same thing so really easy to use you have two different types of ways to find it kinda like you do in Photoshop and for an eye we're just gonna go to circle we're just gonna pick circle out of that the category here you have rectangle polygon circle magic wand and but we're gonna do circle because it's it's pretty easy to do so you're just gonna click and drag until you feel like you've got a decent amount of the eye you don't have to be a perfectionist I'm not really worried in this video about doing it perf perfectly for you but just give you a uh, give you a hint or, or to show you um, give you a basis to kind of go on. So next if you want to change the color in his eye you're just going to go to color tint and I think in theirs they had it blue so we'll just do blue and we're going to apply that color tint and there you go now uh, a black and white image of Morgan Freeman uh, with a blue eye and to make the other blue eye you're just gonna the other eye blue you'll just come here and you'll do the exact same thing over and go drag it till you think you have it right on his eye or close enough or you, know, you don't have to be perfect and you're gonna go back to color tint and you're gonna go blue again and apply color tint so there you go that is how you give. Uh, that is how you change a picture of Morgan Freeman or whoever you want or whatever you want, uh, black and white, and you change it to, uh, and you give it some some different color using the crop and cut tool or the cutout tool. Now another interesting thing I've learned that you can do on this, which I think is a little bit easier to use uh, on here than on Photoshop, is. Uh, you can change this around some. You can actually add animation to it. And they actually have a tutorial also on animated uh, color tools in here. I'm not saying, but if you go to Colored Eyes Animated, there you go. If you click on that, it should take you to another way to do that, but I'll just go ahead and explain it real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and hit undo this effect. And we'll go to our original Morgan Freeman picture and we'll just start over new. We won't worry about making black and white uh, this time. So we've clicked on the new uh, original Morgan Freeman picture and this time we're going to go to animation, editing animation settings, which is again under animation. And once you click on that, you're going to click on this first one here and it's going to be called animation ordering and edit frames. Click on that. Now then, you should see something like this. You don't want to click clone or delete. What you're going to click on is edit. Once you click on edit, uh, it's going to tell you you can pretty much use all of these tools, which are for the most part the same up here. These give you a little bit different um, options, but you can use them in the editing animation and frame uh, thing. So go to cutout tool like we just did and go to circle just like we did before and you're really going to do the same thing only this time you're going to give it a little bit of animation not a lot but just a little bit and you're going to go apply color tint we'll do blue and you're going to do the same thing over just like we did in the other one you're going to go circle select his eye the best you can doesn't have to be perfect I like it a little bit better than that though. Wow, that's actually worse. Okay. Alright, third time's the charm. It's, it's about good. 
and we're gonna go to color tint and we'll delete dark and just make it blue just like the other one apply color tint so now you have uh, Morgan Freeman with again the blue eyes we didn't make them black and white this time it doesn't really matter you want to make them black and white again all you got to do is just go to adjust and choose black and white and you can do that so now that we've made them uh, with the blue eyes we can go back to animation and we're going to go to back to edit animation settings just like we uh, did before and we're going to click on animation ordering and edit frames once you've done that you're going to see your original Morgan Freeman without the blue eyes and then you're going to see the Morgan Freeman with the blue eyes what you're going to do here is you're going to click on the Morgan Freeman with his uh, regular eyes not the one with the blue eyes but just the one with uh, the regular Morgan Freeman unedited and we're going to click edit again so you're going to click that right there and again you're just going to come back to the cutout tool and this time we're going to do the same thing as we did the first and second time only this time we're going to add some animation to it and we're going to add a different color so that that animation stands out because if you choose the same color you won't be able to see it so for this one uh, we'll do red apply color tint and for this one now he has red eyes and again you just go to your cutout tool which is this one right here should look like little scissors and you go to circle and you try to get his eye the best you can that's god awful but we're going to just deal with it <laughs> So go red, just like the other one, and you're going to go apply color tint. Now he has two red eyes, along with the one in animation that we've already put uh, in animation. So we're going to go back to edit animation settings again, <laughs> and we're going to go back to animation ordering and edit frames here. Right? You're going to click on that. Now you should see all three of your Morgan Freeman uh, pictures. Now you have one with Morgan Freeman uh, with the regular eyes. As you can kind of see here, you know, those eyes look uh, unedited because they are. Here's the one with the blue eyes, and here's the one with the red eyes. So you now just, now what you're going to do is you're going to delete the unedited version, and you should have these two left. You should have your blue eyes or your red eyes, whatever color you wanted to make them, uh, but they should be different colors. And you're just going to have those two left. And you can choose the speed in which this um, the animation occurs. I chose to do. Uh, I'm just going to keep it very fast, uh, and we'll go. And you can choose different loops. Uh, I just choose to go loop forever. It doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever you like. Again, just trying to give you a a, a quick little basis on how to use this uh, this editing software, this editing system, I suppose. And you're going to save changes. Now if we scroll down, we should see Morgan Freeman with uh, changing eye colors. And there we go. Uh, Morgan Freeman now has blue and red flashing eyes. It's actually really kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, but let's say I did this and I changed my mind, I don't like it, uh, and I want to go back and, and just do it all over again. <laughs> and you can probably hear my cats fighting in the background. <laughs> um, so what you're going to do is if you don't like it, you can just go, um, you can do undo last action, which is also under edit. You can choose undo last action, but let's say you're like me and these are some of the other ones I've done um, just now trying to learn a little bit more about this system. And you're just going to go clear this history. Next it should give you... Um, an option so that it should say keep, cancel and keep these images or it should say close image and remove undo history and if you wanted to just delete all of your history all of these pictures and your um, current picture of Morgan Freeman with the red and blue eyes you can just click uh, close image and remove undo history all right that's the first step to um, learning how to use Luna pick which is pretty easy and pretty simple